Hello my dear students hope everyone is doing well in today's math session we are going to start with our chapter number 3 that is integers here we have a cake with some candles as well there's a group of ducks if i say count how many candles and ducks are there in the picture then you need to count the objects in order to find the answer for the question how many what you need to do is you need to count the objects and there was the need felt for finding numbers exactly children numbers are used to express the counting whatever counting is done that is expressed in terms of the numbers further the numbers again are segregated into various groups and the first kind of number or the first group of number is natural numbers right in the kgs we have learned the counting from the number 1 1 2 3 4 and so on whenever you are counting the your counting used to start first by 1 and this counting numbers are called as the natural numbers but if i tell you to count the stars present at the night sky or if i tell you to calculate the number of grains present of the sand on the beach is it possible to count no like there are innumerable stars in the sky as well as there are uncountable grains of sand present on the beach that is the number is uncountable or you can say they are innumerable infinite uh, granules of sand are there or infinite stars are there into the galaxy so that is the case applicable to the natural numbers also their beginning is fixed it is fixed that the natural numbers start from 1 but the counting goes on up to the infinity like the number of stars present in the sky or the number of grains which are present on the beach then next comes a group of whole numbers now what are these whole numbers children here we have 12 ice creams and if i distribute this 12 amongst you people what remains behind that is when we subtract 12 from 12 nothing is supposed to remain back i will be left with nothing so that zero the zero that we write to show this emptiness or nothing is not mentioned in the list of natural numbers right so if you add zero before the set of natural numbers then that will be called as the group of whole numbers many a times even in the test if there is a 10 marks test there are many children in the class who score zero yes so zero has its own importance and it's almost impossible to exclude this zero from our number series that's why when we put a zero before the set of natural numbers the new set so formed will be called as a set of whole numbers then let's see the further more concepts which are related to the numbers many a times in the newspaper we see the temperature reading so and so is the temperature in the summer days the temperature will be almost high in winter days it will be a bit less okay so like here we have an example in january when the paper said that it was snowing in kashmir now there was a heavy snowfall in the kashmir the temperature in srinagar was minus 8 degree celsius now here we have it is read as minus 8 degree celsius now how do we read that just now i said it it is read as minus 8 degrees celsius now celsius is the unit of temperature as like we use meters for measuring the length or centimeter in the similar fashion celsius or degree celsius is the unit of temperature so now when we put a minus sign before any number the number obtained is definitely less than 0 everyone knows in order to freeze the water uh, you can uh, take an example of our own refrigerator if you want to cool down the water into ice cubes the temperature which is present into the freezer that is definitely less than 0 degree celsius so now how you are going to show that a number which is less than 0 is called as a negative number and to convey a negative number we are applying a minus sign before it so what did we get from this news we got the concept that 
negative numbers are having their value which is definitely less than 0. That was the first thing what we got to know and the second thing is what if we want to convey a negative number we need to put a minus sign before them. Now let's take an example of thermometer. On a thermometer there are increasing numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 which are present above 0. Here we have the marking 0 and above 0 we have the positive numbers like after 0 1 will be there, 2 will be there and so on up to 10. Then 20, 30, 40. Okay. So the numbers which are present above 0 will be called as positive numbers and the numbers which are present below 0 they are called as the negative numbers. Like just now we learned that whenever we are conveying negative numbers we need to display a minus sign. We need to put a minus sign before them. Exactly for the reason here we have written it as minus 10, minus 20 and if you go down minus 30 and so on. So what did we learn from the example of thermometer? That positive numbers are bigger than 0 and negative numbers are less than 0. Then whenever we are showing the numbers uh, or you can say the integers on the number line there are certain conditions. Now what exactly are those conditions? Let's see. Whenever you are marking the integers on the number line what you need to do is exactly in the middle you should mark the origin and the origin will be representing 0 and origin is shown by the alphabet capital O and always origin shows the reading 0 to the right of this origin or to the right of 0 you will be having positive numbers like here we have plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 and to the left of the origin you will be having negative numbers and how you are going to start negative numbers after 0 immediately to its left you will be having minus 1 then minus 2 that is what care has to be taken immediately after 0 on the left you should write minus 1 minus 2 and so on. So what did we learn for marking a number line exactly in the middle you should have origin which is representing 0 and to the right you will be having positive numbers and to the left you will be having the negative numbers. Then there are certain precautions to be taken. Now what are those? Let's see. Before writing any positive number it is not compulsory to mention the plus sign. But when we are writing a negative number it is very essential or it is mandatory to write the minus sign before that. Like in case if I want to write positive 25, so there is no need to write it as plus 25. Simply you can write it 25 also. So if you are giving no sign in front of the number, that means that the number is positive. But in case of negative numbers, compulsorily you need to write a minus sign. Suppose if I want to write minus 25, then this is must. If you don't write a minus sign, that will be considered as a positive number. Then here comes 0 and 0 is the one who don't have any sign that is not included in the positive numbers nor it is included into the negative numbers. 0 is a number which don't have any sign. So these are certain things to be noted. Now after that let's precisely see what is mean by integers. Now all the positive numbers and negative numbers all together with 0 will form the group of integers. Like in natural numbers only we had the positive numbers from 1. Then came whole numbers. Whole numbers we added 0. Then what are these integers? In integers all category of numbers fall within. Like you need to take negative numbers also, positive numbers also and you don't need to miss 0 as well. So all the positive numbers and negative numbers along with 0 will be called as a group of integers. I hope children everyone is clear with today's concept and if there is any difficulty or if there is any query please feel free to drop it into the comment section. Thank you.